Testing 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video as we're going to be talking about The Matrix Awakens. Mm, plenty to talk about there, but first, do remember that HP are sponsoring a brand new HP Reverb G2 that they will send you directly. So do make sure to enable the bell after you subscribe so that they potentially you could win one of these babies. And also we're going to be sending out to one of you lucky winners as well, a brand new pair of cyber shoes. So that's pretty awesome in commemoration, of course, of the 10,000 subscribers on the channel and we'll be announcing how to enter this competition upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe. Tomorrow we'll be announcing also a giveaway with VR cover as you'll be able to go to the website and choose any product that you want worth up to 29 euros or 29 US dollars. So mm, plenty, plenty coming very, very soon. All right, so guys, let's just transition over to today's uh, story and by the way do uh, a big welcome to you if you're new to the channel of course and welcome back to all our regular viewers and subscribers as well and by the way guys we had an ultra leap uh, party I'll talk about that a little bit later so first oh man I mean the matrix awakens are releasing a game or have already released a game that you will be able to try out if you have an Xbox uh, one or if you have a PlayStation 5. Now they use the Unreal 5 engine, which is used in a lot of variety of different games uh, in VR, of course, for example, VR Skater or also Tetris FX. Have you guys played Tetris FX? Do leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts because it is a wonderful, beautiful game. And what are some of your favorite Unreal Engine VR games that you have played or that you recommend to other people? Please leave a comment below so that you can read your comments in future videos and give you a shout out also. Whilst also, of course, you can help the community to have a better sense of what's available in VR and give them that opportunity to try new stuff. So what kind of VR applications using Unreal 5 have you been using or recommend to use? Please leave a comment below. It'd be fantastic. But this, I mean, guys, can you imagine going in VR someday very soon where your avatar or the avatar of someone else when you're talking to someone else in VR will look as clear as night and day as this? I mean, this is amazing. It's just freaking amazing. I am so, oh man, it's it looks so much better than the Zuckerberg version that he used in his keynote speech when he announced Meta during his uh, during the Oculus Connect or the Meta Connect uh, recently last month or so. I mean, it looks almost real. It's just incredible. Uh, okay, the way he's walking, perhaps they're a little bit, you know, and his arms also look a little bit forced. But guys, the textures just look unbelievable. I mean. Wow, it's just, well, what do you guys think? Because to me, this is just really amazing. And, and the other thing is, what I wanted to bring to your attention about this is not just the fact that Unreal are creating such, you know, driven technology that is bringing things to the forefront of the world in 3D animation, but also 3D gaming. Now, uh, when you look at the actual, I mean, look at this. I mean, this, okay, it looks, it looks it, it does have a 3D aspect to it, I have to admit, but still, I mean, it is really amazing. It's really pushing the boundaries of what's available today. Um, you know, but then when you hop into the PS5 or Xbox One uh, gameplay in the video, it is true that it starts to look a little bit more 3D, but that's absolutely normal because the renders they were using on these specific clips, uh, they were using specific render farms, not, you know, attached to a specific engine, um, that is limited in a specific console. I mean, it is really, really amazing though. I mean, the quality is really awesome. And I would like to ask Unreal, why isn't there a VR, PC VR, at least a PC VR version available of the game? I don't understand why they didn't do that. You know, why did they didn't make it available? I mean, guys, we need to make some noise. You know, comment below, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a lost opportunity? Uh, do you do you understand why they weren't able? Is there a reason why? Do you guys know the reason why? Because I don't get it. It would have been so easy for them 
to just do a PC VR version for us to download. It doesn't have to be on the Quest or, you know, on a standalone VR headset, but at least have a PC VR version for us PR, PC VR folks to really enjoy. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm just saying it would have been fantastic to have a PC VR version, right? Um, it wouldn't have been different, difficult to code. As you know, for those who are following the channel, you know, we're developing our own VR game at the moment, which FYI will be available from March or April next year, even though it's going to be ready uh, probably by January because we're pretty much almost done with it. Um, but we need time to do the marketing and all this kind of stuff. And I can tell you that uh, basically it is quite easy to port a game from one engine to another engine. I, I, I just don't understand. Maybe it's a license thing. Uh, it can't be a technology thing. Now, obviously, the, the graphics here uh, in the Xbox series or the PS5 series aren't you know, as great as the beginning of the video, but come on, it's really not bad. It's still pretty good. Um, I would say compared to Half-Life Alyx, it is pretty much out there. Um, it looks hyper-realistic. It's, I mean, I'm not going to put the sound on because obviously uh, we'll have copyright infringement, but it just would have been something so nice to be able to play around with, I think, uh, as a demo for us, you know, especially as it's all about the Matrix. I, it, to me, it's just a lost opportunity, really, um, because, you know, the Matrix, it's all about being inside of the Matrix, inside of a virtual world. It's all about the virtual reality world. In the year, a gazillion years, we won't be around, but, you know, it, the virtual reality is the Matrix. That's why it's so it touches our hearts those who are in vr it doesn't really touch the hearts so much of gamers as much as it touches the hearts of vr people because being inside of the matrix is all about being inside of the virtual reality world come on let's be honest so i just don't understand it is such a loss of opportunity i don't get why it wasn't on PC VR at least as a demo. I just think it's such a great shame. But guys, today's video is really to bring to you and educate you as to the fact that Unreal Engine compared to Unity, of course, Unity, you know, serves a different crowd. It's all about more stuff that is easy to game with, easy graphics. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, Unity is amazing. It's an amazing engine. But Unreal 5 are really pushing the boundaries when it comes to hyperrealism compared to Unity. So for example, if we were to do a side-by-side -side with Unity, so let me just go to youtube.com and then do Unity uh, trailer. There we go. And then we'll look at Assassin's Creed Unity that was apparently done using Unity. Uh, but this was seven years ago. So let's look at uh, let's look at this one. This one is only a year old. I mean, this is the Unity engine as to what you're able to do. Don't get me wrong, it's still not bad. It's still pretty good. Um, but it is more 3D-esque compared to, to Unreal Engine. But look at these graphics. I mean, it is not bad whatsoever as to what you can do. I mean, the texturing, the lighting, the glowing... Uh, not to mention that Unity is using a code that is easier to learn, which is C-sharp compared to C++, which C++, I've been told by the industry and developers I speak to, it is a little bit more advanced. Uh, there is a little bit more math involved. Uh, there are as many resources available, apparently. I mean, I'm just giving you the feedback based on people who I've spoken with, of course. But, you know, if you disagree, please leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Please put some links in the comments below. Let us know where we can learn things in uh, Unreal that would make it easier for people to learn as well. Uh, but, you know, Unity, there are tons of resources available. There are tons of tutorials available. Uh, C Sharp is fairly difficult to learn. However, it is easier uh, I mean, if I'm able to learn C Sharp, which I did learn because I had to, I wanted to develop the VR game before I um, hired a, a dev to work with, uh, to be part of the team, who's doing a great job, by the way. Um, and I'm learning so much from him. You know, if it wasn't for that, then of course I would go and, and, and do C++. But the fact that I can learn C Sharp, anyone can learn C Sharp, believe me. And I'm not a coder. I've never said I am. I'm a hobbyist. I'm a lover. I'm a passioner. A uh, passion player, let's say, passion coder. Um, you know, I'm certainly not a professional developer, is, is what you could say. Uh, but if I can learn it, anyone can learn it as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, Unity does provide amazing 
graphics, amazing stuff there to be able to use. So if you are an enterprise or business or you're looking to create your own VR game, by all means, do look at Unity because Unity do provide a lot of flexibility, a lot of options, uh, you know, but in terms of cost, in terms of pricing, it might be priced a little more using Unreal because it's a little bit more specialized. And also Unreal is used in the filming industry. Uh, to be able to do motion capture and also superimpose green screen um, virtual environments within the actual film set. So uh, let me just put it side by side so you have a comparison. Let me just put that here. Uh, let me do an Unreal trailer. Let's do that. Let's find that. Uh, Unreal Engine trailer. Where can I find on? There we go. Uh, this will be Unreal 5 trailer. Okay, here it is. So we'll put it side by side. Uh, we'll do a theater mode and then skip ad. And then uh, let me just go back. And then there we go. So you can see the difference for yourself. Uh, on the right hand side is the Unreal Engine. On the left hand side is the Unity Engine. I mean, still the Unity Engine on the left hand side just now, the graphics of the person. Is, is not bad. I mean, come on, you know, this is this is pretty awesome. You know, this is pretty, pretty good as well. But it is amazing what you can do in Unreal. Uh, if you look at the right-hand side, uh, in terms of the lighting, the meshing, the technology available, um, you know, but these are the kings. And Unity, by the way, is listed on the stock exchange. You can actually buy shares of Unity. They've gone up by, I think, more than 100% since the launch of Unity uh, on the stock exchange. So, you know, definitely something if you're into investing to look into because the metaverse, of course, is going to keep growing. And Unreal and Unity are going to be the two best platforms to back uh, in the future. Unreal is not listed in the stock exchange, but I can tell you now, the moment that it is, it's going to catapult. So do look out for it. And, uh, you know, if you are in a position to invest, let's say, three years from now, then, you know, uh, keep 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 to know keep keep in view what's going on in the industry is, is what I got to say but yeah I mean this is what's available in the market I think it's absolutely amazing um, you know and at the end of the day it's just incredible the level of things that you can do in both these technologies that are available of course there are other uh, you know uh, software that you can use or game engines you can use uh, to create VR experiences but these are the kings, guys. I mean, these are the kings. And do let me know, do let us know in the community know in the comments below if you use another engine, if you're a developer or you're a client or some kind and you use another engine, if you have another uh, option to you know, provide to everyone in the community, please leave a comment below. It'd be great to educate others as to what else is available on the market that potentially you know, could be awesome to use. But I mean, guys, it's freaking amazing. As to, you know, you can go to the website for The Matrix Awakens. We're all, of course, looking forward to the new movie coming out on December 22nd. It's going to be frigging amazing. And, you know, it's just, it's just crazy as to what is available, um, you know, on the market. Really incredible. I mean, if no one had told me that this was done in Unreal, I honestly to God would never have known that this was this was done in Unreal. Never. I mean it's just incredible. It's not possible. This can't be the Unreal. No, this is the the okay, this is the Matrix. I was gonna say this is the Matrix Resurrection trailer, but uh if we just go back Awakens. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's just friggin' amazing. I mean, look at this render. It's so close up. It's like 8K or 16K. I mean, look at this. The detail is just frigging amazing. It's just really, really, really crazy. So, guys, here you have it. Um, you know, the, the games have come out. The technologies they've used are amazing. Uh, I'd love to see some behind the scenes. You know, Unreal Matrix trailer. Is there some behind the scenes? Um, you know, or making of? I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure. I don't think there is. Uh, at the moment, we just have some 
interviews that you can go and watch, but there's no making of uh, the actual trailer. So really amazing. Guys, uh, let's just go to the YouTube channel and welcome some new people to the community. Uh, so let's go to the YouTube studio because at the end of the day, it's all about giving back to you. I love you guys. You guys are super amazing. Do remember, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. So do make sure you reshare the videos on your LinkedIn, your Reddit, your Facebook, Twitter, everywhere on social media so we can get there as fast as possible as we're doing a giveaway of the HP Reverb G2 and the Cyber Shoes and Game Keys and more. Um, so that will be announcing at, of course, 9,000 subscribers in commemoration of the 10,000 subscribers. So do reshare as much as you can. I'd like to welcome Lunaside Games. Uh, Macy, oh, cool, that's our developer. Nice to thank you for, for joining. Uh, MJ Jensen. Uh, Marianne Stevenson, Agnoria123, uh, Robert Adams, Anthony Cox, uh, Ajaz Ahmad, Little Dom, and Luther Young, random stuff. Thank you so much for joining, guys. You guys are super, super, super awesome. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's just go and check out some of the comments that you guys have left as well, because I think they will be super awesome. And do stay until the end of the video, as I will uh, just talk about uh, very quickly the uh, little ultrally party that we had and we also of course are going to be uh you know featuring ultra leap stuff more on the channel so do make sure you enable the bell also subscribe for more stuff like that uh, yesterday we posted the meta business podcast talking to the guys from deficit games who created vr skater one really really awesome uh game that's going to come out so i'd like to welcome and thank stella i love skirting i love vr yes i also like to make epic games but I've never made a VR game because I got no headset. Well, hopefully you get one soon. That would be super awesome. Thank you very much for your comment. Let's go to the Meta Horizon Beta Launch uh, website, which was all about the most centralized social VR platform launches, Meta Oculus Quest 2 Horizon Worlds. And we compared it to about a whole bunch of different things that was out there. And you guys have left so many comments. I really love you guys. So let's just read some of them. Gabriel Reed, great coverage. I know you aren't getting as many views right now, but you consistently bring quality mate thank you so much make sure you reach our videos that would be super awesome uh covered puppy 2 let me just make it bigger so you guys can see your names also uh so zuckerberg has a plan he wants to monopolize vr and he's throwing huge sums of money into turning that into reality yes that's very true thank you very much for your comment covered puppy 2 really appreciate it mr uh, mp says good content and insight mate Nice one. Thank you very much. And by the way, um, I believe that we reshared your comment on our Twitter. So here you go. Uh, MP, don't know if you are on Twitter, but we reshared your comment as the comment of the week um, on our Twitter. So thank you very much for that. Andrea Adema says, thanks for the vid. You know you can assign the transition to a button, right? Uh, yes, I probably can. I'm just too lazy. But thank you so much for, for your comment. Chris Teller says, any idea of when it's coming to Europe? No, we don't know when Horizon will come to Europe, but we'll keep you posted. Uh, and then Thristro says, uh, or Nistro says, really weird how they look like Pixar characters, but yet they're adults. Yeah, I completely agree with you. And thank you for your comment, uh, Nistro. Brad says, downside is I haven't been on FB in a decade. Well, very true for a lot of people. Thank you, Brad, for your comment again, and welcome back to the channel. Tim Apple says, don't get zacked, guys. <laughs> very funny, very funny. Thanks, Tim Apple. Uh, Kermit the Frog Singh says, VR chat is better, and I completely agree with you. It is miles, miles, miles better. So, guys, thank you again so much for watching today's video. You are super awesome. Big reminder that we are giving away this little baby here, brand new HP Reverb G2, and also a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes. These guys will send it directly to you. We'll also give away a $50 voucher to you, your Meta Street, your Meta Quest store, or your Steam store, or your Viper store. Up to you how you want to spend it and more. So make sure you enable the bell after hitting your uh, subscription, your subscribe button, as we'll announce everything upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers. So guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video very soon and in the comments below. Bye-bye.